until Falcon 9 switches to internal power and clears the pad. So we have a great view there of the clamp arms opened up. And the strong back will slowly begin to recline away from the vehicle. Now at this point in the countdown... On countdown one, this is LD uh, pulling MD for a status check. Now at this MD point in the countdown, launch. both the Copy. first and second stages are nearly fully loaded with one million pounds of rocket-grade kerosene fuel and liquid oxygen. Both the first and second stages should finish propellant loading about a, mi a, about a minute apart from each other. With the first stage finishing up at the T-minus three-minute mark and the second stage finishing at around the T-minus two-minute mark. With the first, uh, as you may have noticed, there are white clouds forming around the vehicle, and those clouds are comprised of the chilled gas above the LOX tank that is vented overboard to maintain pressure in the tank as needed. And when that vented oxygen mixes with the warmer outside air, it condenses into clouds. At T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup, and this means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers will have taken over the launch countdown. After that, just inside of T minus two seconds, we will light the nine M1D engines for liftoff. Just heard confirmation of lockload completion on the first stage. The payload continues to be healthy and the Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather is still looking green and the, re and the range is ready to support our T0 of 1.48 p.m. Eastern time. And with that, we are proceeding into the last few minutes of terminal count. So for our next major milestone, we are waiting for the callout of second stage locks loading completion. Stage two locks load is complete. Great callout, there it is. So the first and second stages are now fully loaded with over one million pounds of rocket grade kerosene, fuel, and liquid oxygen. We're standing by now for confirmation that Falcon 9 is in startup at the T minus one minute mark. Ground the gas closeouts. Here's the confirmation of the gas closeouts beginning. You might notice uh, an increase in white cloud formation near the vehicle. This is the result of a nominal groundside process where the TE liquid oxygen feed line is vented down ahead of liftoff. Falcon 9 is in startup. At this point, the autonomous flight computers have taken over the launch countdown, and stages 1 and 2 are pressurizing for launch. Finally, we're waiting for the final go directive from the launch director. MD is go for launch. At T minus 32 seconds, all systems are go. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. To my ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Missions. Engine full power. Go and all sixty nine. Go Falcon. Go SpaceX. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Coming up next, the vehicle will be passing through Max Q, which is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle experiences the Falcon greatest nine power and telemetry are nominal. The greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure.
Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. Great call out there from Max Q, which is again when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic stress. Coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by Stage Set, started. SES 1, and then the Boost Back Burn. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first and second stages separate from one another. Followed by this, the MVEC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES one. This engine burn, lasting several minutes, will propel the second stage and the payload to orbit. The boost back burn will assist the first stage in returning to its recovery location at landing zone one. In addition to these major events, the fairing halves will separate about 30 seconds after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those events that are coming up in just a few seconds. And as a reminder, we will not have any views of, Falcon, of the Falcon 9 second stage or the payload at the request of our customer. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And a good series of back to back call outs there and views, which again were Miko, stage separation, SES one, and the boost back burn. Coming up shortly, we should hear a call out for fairing separation, but again, as a reminder, we will not be showing it on screen. Fairing separation confirmed. Good call out there, confirming fairing separation. We will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Doug. Stage one boost back shutdown. And a good call out there, confirming boost back shutdown. We are currently three minutes and 36 seconds into today's mission. Now the next major milestone coming up in about three minutes from now will be the entry burn of the Falcon 9 booster as it continues on its journey towards landing zone one. To start the entry burn, we'll relight three M1D engines, which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down the vehicle to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but it's still moving really fast. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little more on the outside of the vehicle. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Good call out there. Reusability is the key to lowering the cost of space flight, which enables more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing this entry burn for the second time today, and the payload fairing supporting today's mission will be recovered for free to reuse. So we should be hearing the call out for that entry burn in about a minute and a half from now.
stage one entry burn startup. Good call out there for the entry burn startup. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there you heard the call out. Stage two FTS is saved. There is a call out for the completion of the Falcon 9's first stage entry burn. Coming up next will be the first stage landing burn, which will start in about a minute from now. The Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. At liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage has thrust greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. Should be expecting the final burn in about 10 seconds from now. Stage 1 transonic. Stage 1 FCS is saved. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. Stage 1 landing bird. We are now waiting for Falcon 9 to land at landing zone 1. Landing was deployed. Impact shut down. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you heard the call out for a successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. This was the second launch and landing for this nominal first stage. Or nominal orbit insertion. As a reminder, we will not be showing any stage two or deployment views at the request of our customer. So with that landing of the Falcon 9 booster, we will be bringing today's webcast to a close. We'd like to thank the NRO for entrusting us with today's mission, and we'd also like to thank the Range and the FAA for their support. If you're interested in more launch coverage, be sure to check SpaceX.com launches and follow at SpaceX on X for the most up-to-date information. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.